spirulina. This spiral-shaped blue-green algae is a superfood of increasing interest here in the States as its powerful nutrient profile continues to become more popular. For more, we go to our correspondent Amelia Simone at Earthrise Nutritionals in Calipatria, California. Amelia? I'm here at Earthrise Nutritionals, where locally harvested spirulina is undergoing constant quality assurance analysis. They're on the lookout for the presence of any hazards, including heavy metals. Thankfully, California has one of the strictest regulations regarding heavy metals. The aquatic cultivation of spirulina here at Earthrise is a much purer process than spirulina produced overseas. Dr. Belay, can you tell us more about the inherent differences between the spirulina grown here at Earthrise and other competitors? Yes, Earthrise spirulina is quite famous in the world for its safety and quality. You need people with expertise to grow this algae in a safe way. Earthrise has 100 years of collective experience in growing culture. Safety is maintained by following good manufacturing price practices as promulgated by FDA. And this process, actually, we take it from the growing stage to the packing stage. The second thing where we differentiate ourselves is in the consistency of the product composition. In other words, when we talk about beta-carotene or when we talk about phycocyanin or protein, the product quality is consistent over the growth season and is consistent over many years during that growth season. We feel that we have the highest nutrient level for the product. It's not only consistent, but we have, we may, we have high values for each of those components. And how do you control heavy metals? Well, heavy metals, uh, again, we, we are known to have very low heavy metal levels. Uh, in fact, we meet even California Prop 65, which is the strictest. And heavy metals come from either the water that is used to grow the, the culture, or the nutrients that are used to grow the culture, or the process, either the water or the, you know, the whole process. So what we do is that we control these heavy metals at each stage of those processes. That is why we consistently meet, for example, for lead, California Prop 65. And I doubt if this is true for our competition. What can businesses do to protect themselves? Audit these companies. We get audited. We have some 10 audits a year, internal and external. So. The reason why companies come and audit us is they want to make sure that we are doing the right thing. And that is what they have to do for any company if they want to guarantee safety and quality. And Earthrise is the only major spirulina producer in California? Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's the only major uh, spirulina producer in, in California. And it is the oldest and largest producer of spirulina in the United States and the world. Wow. Great. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Belay. You're welcome. Reporting from Calipatria, I'm Amelia Simone. Back to you, Mike. For more information on how businesses can protect themselves from the liability of heavy metals, please visit the website below. On behalf of our Spotlight series, I'm Mike Flaherty. Thanks for watching. <laughs>